In this video, I'll show you how to automatically add timestamps or time codes to a transcript using Descript Storyboard. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, I've already got Descript downloaded, installed, and I'm ready to go. You can follow along by using the link in the description below to sign up uh, for an account. Now, let's click on New Project and this opens up Descript Storyboard. The classic version is going away soon. So I'd recommend you follow along using this option, new project, and it's going to open up the script storyboard. Now, here we go. We've got uh, the script section here, the scene reel, uh, and where everything comes in. Now, by default, you have a couple of options you can do here, but I'll not use any of these sections. I'll just go to media, and from here, ensure that the file section is selected. This is where you can upload your files to work on. So I already have my video and audio and even the transcript. This is a transcript that I want to automatically add timestamps to using Descript Storyboard. So what I'm going to do, I'll just drag and drop my video. Just drag and drop it there. And once I do that, it's going to prompt you to transcribe. I'll not do that. I'll just close that. But if I click on my file again here, it's being uploaded to Descript servers and you can also see that right here. If you click on it, you'll see the processing, how far along it is with all these different activities. So all we want is to upload our file and then use our transcript. And this probably works best for people who script their videos and want to use Descript to make other final edits. So that's available. Next up, what we need to do is just click on the media. And then from here, what we can do is just click on this drop down right here and then click on import transcript. Click on that. And then we can open up our transcript by just double clicking because what we need to do is copy and paste the transcript right inside here. So at the time of recording this video, the script does not support importing a transcript, right? Uh, for example, a Word document, a text file, etc. So you'll need to copy and paste the contents right inside this new dialog box. Control V, and once you do that, I believe you're ready to go with a syncing option. So click on sync, and once you do that, things are going to start happening in the background. So uh, one thing you'll notice is that because we've not created a composition, uh, it may not give you what you think uh, should be there, but it's working in the background. So uh, we'll give it some time because there are a couple of processes still ongoing uploading uh, just give, give give it some time it really depends on what you're working on but if your file is a little bit long it may take a while or maybe your internet is not yet uh, is not the best it will take some time so we'll give it some time and once it's done everything will stop uh, spinning right here and by the way when I look at this, I see some two quote marks here. That means our transcript has already been synced. So what we can do now, I can click on this particular drop down and then say create composition from file. And once I do that, it's going to be ready right inside here with the files that we have or our transcript as we want it to be the way it was. So it's ready for us now to automatically use Descript storyboard to add timestamps. So all we're going to do now is just go to publish and then go to export and then we're going to select a transcript right here and once we do that we're going to select whatever let's say we say plain text and then from here uh, you can have the composition name include markers if available I include ignore text whatever all these options but the most important one here is time codes I'll click on this uh, particular options here and then you'll need to set the interval when you need uh, the time codes to be available. For example, 60 seconds. Uh, if you wanted to use the paragraph breaks uh, to have the uh, time intervals or time codes right there, uh, speaker labels, markers, really, really awesome. You can also do some time code offset, but let's assume you want the time code to be at intervals of 60 seconds. That's fine. And once you're satisfied, uh, let's click out of this. Let's click on export. Let's do that and then Click on save, open text, and this is our text right here. If I just double click on it, you can see that the options we selected 
for example if we click on this we have the a composition name and then we have we have the time codes at 000 and then if we scroll down slightly uh this is uh, the second minute should be one minute somewhere yeah right about here so at, after every 60 seconds we have timestamps automatically applied to our transcript uh in the script storyboard so the original uh looks like this this is what the original looks like and then we've got uh, the one with the time codes somewhere right about here this one this one is the one with the time codes and you can already appreciate that we have the 001 here the, the one minute here and then uh, we move uh, down slightly the second minute right here and so on and so forth but simply put that is how you can automatically add timestamps or time codes to your transcript using the script storyboard I hope this tutorial is of value to you. Thank you so much for watching.